So hello everybody, this is Psychedelic Eyeball and welcome back to Prince of Persia 2. We're now gonna tackle the ugly as hell rune temple. And also, well, I just, uh, oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do, but yeah. I also figured out something. You have a rhythm game into this game because in order to make the music play into this part of the level, you need to walk. Here we go, we finally kickstart the music by walking and now... We go into the palace. Isn't that a pretty sight? So, four people were not aware of it. And now I don't have my sword anymore. So, why did I have my sword at the ending of the other level and now I don't have it anymore? What kind of. Uh, oops. What kind of sense it makes? That was so senseless. That was a murder by the number. So, we have one of the brand new traps that, well, this game has. It's a series of. Ah, Jesus Christ, yeah. I'm sorry, but I have to lower this, uh, this music. I'm not going to subject you to the, to this auditory puke, just like I did with the traffic jam uh, noises into the Skull Cave, because I realized that I had the volume at a overbearing volume or something like that, and yeah. Also, the snake up there is an enemy. If you walk into its path, well, you die. So, basically, you have to crouch, and then you can just crawl under the, the little thing you hear in order to stay alive. This is the most important thing about this level and why the hell do crawling into the... Oh ho, we're now gonna pick a floating dagger. So now we have the shittiest weapon of the entire game and yes, we're going to use it in, to in order... How the hell did the selling play hurt me from there? It didn't even fall on my head, so we have the mid user head and what the? What is going on with this thing? So, yeah. Uh, wait, is this a dagger? Uh, oops. Okay. <laughs> okay, apparently putting your weapon away or up or anything like that just makes it so that well. Uh, okay, alright. Now, we're just going to save right here because fighting those things is kind of hard. So basically, well, there's a foolproof way in order to make it so that you fight those little things and... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I did it. Excellent. So, yeah, there, the Medusa heads are a shitload different than this version because, well, in the original version, they will just... Uh, oh, my God, just climb up there, you moron. Okay. But, yeah. That was, uh, well, they, they will just dart at you really, really quickly and, well, make it... Oh, God. Do I have to do this jump for real? Because, yeah. Okay, now I'm getting sidetracked into a shitload of things. So I'm gonna clear up what I wanted to say about the mid-user heads first. Because they will just dart at you and constantly attack you. In here, you need to lure them really, really close. They look incredibly jerky and awkward and well. There's that for you. So anyway, now we have to jump in order to get this life-extending potion. And well, this jump is really, really hard to do considering that... Upon a, a, ma a frame transition or whatever, your character can just randomly stop, so it's incredibly hard to line your jump correctly. Yeah, I just started jumping as soon as the map loaded and I still fucked up, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. We're going to find out! Together! Uh, my god, just do the jump! Uh, okay, you have to jump just slightly before... Uh, wait, it didn't even do anything! So, what was the purpose of this he of this life potion? I'm not really sure, but anyway. Now we have to do this little series of backtracking here in order to get all the way back up, because, well, this is our... Oh, okay, my life has been restored now, but yeah, I think, yeah. While in Prince of Persia 2 for the PC, you had, you had something like a maximum of 12 bottles of health. Into this game, you have about... Oh. I think you have 8, and it doesn't go any higher than that, and whenever you finally drink your health potions, your your health is not even updated correctly, so that, well, it just seems like that you're already at... Oh my god, it, it doesn't even look like... No, the... Once that you got the 8 bottles of health, the, the life bar just becomes completely bug, and also, I'd like to point out an annoying detail about the control, because... In Prince of Persia, for the uh, the first game for the SNES, if you press the jump button, it will do this. But 
in this game it does this by default so in order to do a jump like this well you need to hold the direction that you're jumping and once again this is incredibly awkward but this is not awkward absolutely not but hey, at least the level is kind of nice so far the only bad thing about the rune palace is the medusa head the traps are nowhere near as asshole-ish as well they were oh god no i'm not gonna uh uh what the what the fuck is going on with that snake was filled up with the most epileptic seizures that I've ever seen in the one. What? I just drank the potion on the floor above. <laughs> Best game programming ever. And now we get an. Uh, uh, oh god, no, oh fuck, yeah. Yeah. The, the potion we, we just picked up right now is a potion that inverts all of your controls, so... Okay, now I need to do that... Uh, oh, fuck. How am I going to do this? Oh, okay, alright. Need to make this floor plate falls, and I... Oh, okay. Okay. Calm and steady wins the race. We're going to find out how to control this fucking retard. Oh, okay, okay, this is why I was... Okay. okay, here we go, now I need to... Okay, press this button here, need to jump up, press down in order to go down, and can I go further up? Yes, I need to do that. Oh no, are you... Uh, can you re... Okay, please tell me that there's a way to... Oh, there, there is no way to invert this, so I'm stuck with inverted controls for the rest of the... Oh, okay. Thanks, thank you, little snake. Because there was no way I could get across, well, I died. Uh, wait, there was a way that I could get past. I just keep to be to be forgetting one detail. Uh, okay. Come on, die. <laughs> Why can't I kill the snake? This. <laughs> take it anymore okay let's just ignore this entire <laughs> okay i'm just going to make a confession right here i didn't actually play any of this whatsoever before recording this i'm going with well my knowledge from prince of persia for the pc so yeah i'm i'm gonna blame this on the fact that i'm playing awkwardly right now or well, but to be fair, the... Uh, oh god, no, this thing is going through the wall! Okay, so basically in order to hit those those Medusa heads, you need to wait for them to dart across the screen. Oh, there's a... Okay, what the hell did that potion do? It didn't even do anything, but uh, yeah. Once again, the, the health meta or whatever is fucked whenever you... Whenever you have 8 bottles of health, so I think this potion I just drank made me lose health, but yeah. This is the first time that I play anything, well, past this level. I played the Skull Cave in order to see what the version anything was like, but I never played any of this. I'm just going there based on my knowledge of the, uh, of the uh, PC version, because this is a straightforward port, but the thing is, well, it's completely f uh, Okay, uh... I really don't recognize all any of this. Okay, I took this little route right here, so yeah. So for those of you who wanted to know what happens when you take this other door, you finally can know. Because, yeah, we're finally here. You get a life-extending potion into this room, but oh god, no. Okay, come on you little rodent. Uh, no, that's not a rodent. That's a Medusa head, but it's still the work of the... Oh, okay. Thank god, this little thing. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, Jesus Christ, another one of these things. And also, I'd like to say that, well, just hearing the same music over and over again is really, really nice. And, well, uh, okay, yeah. It's been a while since I actually did that, and I'm going to do that before I start cursing like a moron, because I for... Uh, because I forgot to save a state, and well, you know what? Horrible mistakes are made by horrible people. Just like me. 
So now we have another health potion that we don't need and uh, okay. Ah, yeah, you need to press this button because yeah, the, the previous level had two exits and that's some wonderfully slick animation right here. The gate just closes instantly. No need for any gradual build-up or anything like that. Just close it right off the bat, it's going to be okay, everybody is going to appreciate And... wait... Wait, my... my health was not even restored by this life-extending potion. I still have three health left. Uh, no, not left, but... Ah, nothing works anymore into this game. It's broken to hell. So, okay, now you need to... Okay. Is there a way to trigger the... Okay, yeah. Well, it doesn't... W the glitch where you make tiles fall by just, uh, well, you know, pressing onto a... Jumping onto the floor doesn't work, but it works for the sailing. And right now I've just been a poor victim of, well... The controls of this game. So, alright, we need to do a running jump right here. Uh... Wasn't that jump okay? I was pretty sure it was. But then again, I don't even know. Okay. Take two. But... But I'm doing the jump correctly. Why does it work? Oh, great. We're ha... Why the... Why is my warping through the screen? And why the hell did I do the jump correctly now? In fact, I did this jump even worse. And now this gate is closing behind us. So, okay, but so far it's not going too badly. So now we have a crossroad and, well, we've ruined the entire surprise because, well, we can press buttons or anything ahead of time and they won't crumble instantly like in the PC game. Ah, and here we go. Now you can kill the snakes. I couldn't kill that one snake who wasn't moving, but hey, the ones which are moving and are really ballistic and all of this, eh, sure, no problem. So, right now I have absolutely no idea how much... Yeah, I think the game is just bugged because you just can't kill the snakes when they're just... humping walls and s stuff like that. They're really immune to all of this. So, we have a lesson to learn from all of this gentleman. And I'll let you figure why. Uh, what? Okay, and I thought once again that... Okay. Just come over here. Yeah, I really think that the health display is completely bugged because there's no more health uh, notifications whatsoever. Not even from the enemies. I don't even know if I'm close to kill the enemies or anything. This entire game is fucked. <laughs> And we have the awesome, with that, we have this really awesome sky f with gradients and yeah, Bob Ross will really be. Uh, oh hey, the health indicator finally decided to work again. But yeah, Bob Ross will be really, really pleased of the way that colors are being blended. Indeed. So yeah, we're pretty close to the ending of the level, and I'm pretty sure that. Uh, oh fuck. That's, that snake is just dancing in admiration. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, guess what we can do? We can do that. We can do the wonderful abuse of this button. Ah, uh, come back here! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I wanted to kill this snake so bad. This is what you get... Uh, okay, this is the part where you just can't... Uh, okay, thought for one second, but yeah. This is the part of the level where you can just skip to the end, and frankly, I'm just going to do it right off the bat, because this game or level doesn't deserve to be played the truthfully by the rules or anything like that, and holy shit, do the exit door look shabby. So, here we go. So, actually, yeah, I don't even know. Can you even do the little survival thing? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so this trap is apparently not working. But once again, I need to verify this claim. Okay, it just really, really delayed, and it, it just likes to cut people right at the middle. A perfectionist trap, might I say. And now we're playing level 8. And I'm not gonna get the... Oh god! We got surprised... Oh my god, you, you barely have a second to react! Alright, I better start running right this instant. And now... Ah, oh, great. Now this snake is invulnerable. But... You fucking asshole! That fucking snake! 
Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a train wreck. Uh, but to be fair, it's not as bad as the previous video has been so far. So let's give it the benefit of the doubt. The doubt will always tell you what you need to do. But yeah, in the in the PC version, some of the touch plates into this level will crumble instantly upon you falling up to. Uh, uh, oh god. Uh, uh, okay, there was absolutely nothing I could do here, but. Can we outrun this snake? I'm kind of interested to figure this out because this is what you're supposed to do, but... Yeah, there's not even a way to get into this room at all because, well, the snake is just faster than you and, well, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But let's just give it another last try, just for good measure. No, there's absolutely no way you can do it. So this whole passageway is now useless. So... Okay, now I don't really remember what to do here. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I just fucked myself. Uh. No, turn the other direction! He's... <laughs> He's right behind you! Okay. I... There's nothing I can... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst game I've ever played in my fucking life. <laughs> oh god, it's not healthy to laugh like that, but yeah. Nah, it's healthy, I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere, but yeah. And uh, yeah, obviously I was out of harm's way, or maybe I was in, I don't know. So now we need to avoid this little thing right here again. Let's duck out of the screen. Okay, uh, uh, whoops, yeah, I completely fucked up. And if you fucked up this puzzle, by the way, there's no going back or anything like that. You only have one chance at doing this, uh, this little puzzle right here. So you have to just jump over everything and well, oh hey, there was actually a crack onto the wall right here Well, you could crawl into and well, there was absolutely nothing. Oh, no enemies neither. Oh, but there How oh, this how did that kill me once again? There was no reason that this would have killed me whatsoever uh, Okay Okay, let's redo this but with more feeling Yeah uh, Okay, so why did I grab the ledge even though I was nowhere near it whatsoever? So, uh, oh my god, I don't remember this and I don't remember how to do this room anymore. Okay, I think you... <laughs> Hell yeah, I died into a wall. You will dream of doing that. Just kiss. Okay, so... Okay, now you need to do that. Because I was I was pretty sure that there was one touch floor plate or something which made it so that, well, you will be fucked and there will be absolutely no way of going back. Oh, uh, okay. Did I grow immortal or what? I don't have any health indicator anymore. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you need to jump over this button, otherwise you're trapped into this room with nowhere to go, so... So we need to be crawling and we're finally out of this godforsaken room and I... I'm pretty sure there was... Oh, yeah, obviously. This was a button in order to... But, uh, wait. How the hell am I going to get back up here? Because I jump further... I jump further ahead than the ledge that I'm supposed to go into, so... Do I need to do... Oh, yeah. Because this is obviously the most into... And, yeah. I was really complaining into Prince of Persia... Prince of Persia 1 about how sometime you couldn't grab the ledge in front of you but still managed to grab the one ledge that was really far away but here you you freaking retard you just turn away and and yet he fall oh my god this even I could do better programming than this, and my only knowledge as a programmer is to check boxes in Multimedia Fusion. This is really the most embarrassing game I've ever played. Honestly, yeah. I'll... Oh hey, there was a snake right here and I never noticed it, so let's just see it hum the wall and we're gonna... Uh, oops, no. Okay, so, alright, come over to me. 
Is there a way that you can make it so that, well, he can get... Ah, oh, great, he's all the way back here. Okay, now... Please duck. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay. I wonder... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, they really got rid of one of the abilities, well, not the abilities, but one of the things you could do with Medusa heads, because if you manage to push them into a wall or... Uh, all right, come over... Uh, uh, fucking Christ! <laughs> okay, all right. We only have two more health, but as far as I know, we've got a place where we're just going to be able to get more health. We get another kind of small sword, so... All right, let's just... Wait, there's no dream sequence sequence in this game whatsoever? So, basically the whole thing with the woman that was saying, come to me, is completely useless because you never get to see the entire purpose of this. Basically, you just touch the sword blade or something and just lose consciousness and then finally the woman was implying you to come to her or whatever pretty much turned out to, to be your mother and then you had to avenge your parents or some shit like that so so now we have to go into this battle section and now we're gonna have to be really careful and use the, the little tips that we learned from Hunt Gertrude or something like that so alright let's get our sword which doesn't give us any help back so now we're actually gonna need to use Finis now. This is going to get ugly, considering that I... Uh, uh, ah, fuck the fighting. I'm just going to run through all of this until I eventually find out the button that opens up... Oh, this is the button that opens up the floor. The, all right. No, no! Get into the door! Thank you! Okay. Yeah, at least you don't have to fight anything into this... Uh, into this part of the game anymore, so... Kudos! Because this made it a shitload easier. So, here we go. Last level of the Ruined Palace. Oh, hey, you can still get this potion in this version. Because, well, there was pretty much no way to get this potion. Or at least make it any beneficial. Because the moment that you hit this floor plate, it just collapsed onto the... Uh... Okay. Uh, ah, oh, my God. Wait, hold on. I need to see how great the pro... Oh, holy shit, they actually did something right, because I was really expecting that I'd die in midair or something like that. Or maybe I can. Nah, I can't. I'm sorry, I let you down. I couldn't unfortunately do all of the... And I really like how come, well, you can not hang on really, really well from floor plates, but oh boy, the second that you just fall down or whatever, the apocalypse is upon you. Why the hell do the health indicator has to be always bugged like that? Because, yeah, knowing what you're doing game-wise, well, that's not necessary at all, because people are just going to figure it out. They're just going to bring a paper and a pen just to remember all about the health that the enemies have, because this is how we play. And, well, as much as, well... Uh, okay. Oh, you freaking butt. So, okay. Ah, no freaking butt redux. Okay, so I guess we're... Okay, now he's coming to us. And now... Uh, ah. But yeah. Basically, to completely remove an entire gameplay mechanic from the uh, PC version. Because the weapon that you picked up into the first level of this series, well... Basically, it w it made it so that it was a knife, it had a shitty range, and it only hurt Medusa heads for half of their damage, but... Uh, oh god, what the hell is this? Oh, okay, there's just a regular potion here, but... Yeah, it just made it so that, well... Uh, oh, 45 minutes left. Yeah, they, they remove an entire place from the level, you could go into a little desert and, well... Just face an uncrossable chasm that will... And stuff like that, but yeah. Basically, well, you'd get the other sword, which basically hacked like your whole sword. You do normal damage to things again. And now, we get to see what we need to do into this level. Jump on top of this horse, because, well... This is the kind of magical horse that make it so that, well... You don't get killed by this little blade right here by running through like a moron. Just like I'm doing. Just like what? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Stop. Okay... Okay, I guess it's just stuck here. For some reason, once that snakes have, have attempted to bit you or something, they just decide to be stuck into a 
some sort of paralysis crisis. Uh, oh god, I just fucked up. Time to reload. Because, yeah, this part here was the most fiendish part of any Prince of... Of any Prince of Persia game that was made because, well, you needed to do a series of, well... Of hanging up in the air because you... Your character is too dumb to understand the laws of uh, of gravity, but yeah, basically this was, yeah, you needed to do the series of running, jumping puzzles and all of this in order to land on the horse, and you only had one stab at it. If you fucked up a jump like that, you needed to replay the entire level, because this is the kind of gamer that we are. Back then, we were hardcore. And, uh, oh, I thought that I was in the end. And once again, I completely forgot about this part of the game. So basically, you need to know ahead of time what the jumps are going to be like. Plan everything accordingly and then your character doesn't jump because you have to hold the direction and the button that you're jumping at. Which is an incredibly stupid decision, considering that pressing up makes you jump up. So it makes no sense. But anyway, let's just... Oh my god, I... I actually missed the horse! Oh my god, that... Nah, that's just unbelievable. I really thought this was impossible to do, but... Well, the game just proved me wrong again by... Showcasing me well, that this game could actually be... Somewhat lenient or anything on the player. Here we go, we finally jump on the horse! Not only the horse statue, statue comes to life, but it's a flying horse! What? <laughs> At least they saved this retarded flying horse bullshit for the final cutscene. And what temple? Where are we going? What the hell is happening? Well, we're gonna find out sooner or later where we're going. Coming up next, the final local of this game, the temple. We'll hopefully we'll find out what we're doing here and well, we'll unravel our destiny. Being the master of this shitty game. So we'll see you everybody.